Hi, my name is Arnaud Perry. I'm with I'm the VP Solutions Marketing at uh, Envivio. Envivio is the world leader in uh, software video processing solutions for uh, for multi-screen. Um, and increasingly, our solution is also being used for uh, for uh, premium pay TV applications um, in the cloud. Um, our software solution uh, runs in IT data centers, um, and it powers today most of the uh, the world's uh, multi-screen live deployments, going to any screen, um, you know, iPads, uh, game consoles, smart TVs, Roku's, you name it. Um, and uh, we're uh, we're showing at uh, at the cable show our cloud uh, DVR solution um, based on our Halo product line. Um, uh, we introduced this at uh, at NAB, and um, with our solution, we're able to um, deliver uh, recorded content um, by the user, just like they would do on their set-top box, um, to any device. Um, and our MSOs can um, can use the same solution to deliver customized content. Um, it can be uh, personalized content, but it can be targeted. Um, advertising based on user profiles or analytics. We're also showing uh, advanced capabilities and uh, ability to migrate in software to next generation formats, uh, new, newer codecs for lower bit rates like HEVC or um, 4K Ultra HD resolution. You know, once you have your um, linear or on-demand services running in software in the data center, uh, it's very easy to upgrade it with a with a license going forward and migrate in software to the newer codec and the newer formats. Um, not only that, but increasingly MSOs are interested in using this this software at the core of the network to uh, to even optimize their legacy services, uh, their MPEG2 services, for instance, uh, for bandwidth reclamation, right? And, and legacy set the boxes go from uh, from four to one to five to one HD, for instance. What I want to show here is our uh, Halo network processor technology, or software um, running in the cloud, in the data center. It can be a private cloud, it can be hosted um, to enable um, advanced services for, for cloud TV. Um, what you can see here on the environment, we've developed a very simple um, user guide on a cheap uh, Roku player box that you see here. Um, giving you a glimpse of the capabilities you can, as an MSO, develop very easily in the cloud uh, for advanced services. So, of course, you can view uh, live TV. Um, and not only, not, not only are we able to play uh, live cable channels, just like you would in your set-top box, but with our true motion technology on our Muse transcoder software, we, we're actually able to provide uh, quality, video quality that's better than what you have today on typical cable MPEG-2 HD services running on your set-top box, right? Um, so that enables basically next-gen IP um, infrastructure in the cloud. Um, and you can run your pay, your premium pay TV services on a connected device like a Roku, you know, on, a, on an Xbox or maybe directly on the smart TV without investing in new, new uh, set -top, expensive set-top boxes, right? Or new head-end hardware, for that matter. So can you, you can do a lot more things than, than just live. Um, you can uh, do start over, for instance. I'm watching my live channel, same base jump content. Let's say I want to go back to the beginning. and I want to start from over from the beginning, it's reloading. I want to go back to live, just press another button, and I'm back to live. This all happens in the background, in, in the cloud. But you get much more advanced capabilities as well uh, with our Halo Experience uh, software to actually personalize playlists and then you can serve applications like Network PDR in the cloud. Um, I'll give you an example. Can go, I can go to my program guide just like I would on my regular setup box. You know, pick a program to record 
and now it's being recorded in the cloud, in network attached storage, right? With no limits to how much you can do. It's creating my personal copy in the cloud. If I go back and I want to see what I, what, what I recorded, there's a, lot, a bunch of the recordings I've done before. The challenge when you do that in a multi-screen environment is um, it's stored in one format, but how do you play it in individual different formats, different resolutions on any of those devices. And the trick is, with Halo, the moment I press play on the Roku or on the iPad, for instance, it's going to go get, retrieve that asset, package it on the fly, encrypt it, and create a playlist just for that particular user and that particular device in real time and just in time. So you can use the exact same cloud DVR application to view your recordings on your tablets, like the iPad. Again, the minute you press play, our software solution takes care of getting the asset, package it just in time, encrypt it, and serve it in the right format for that particular device. And it all happens in the cloud, in the data center. Nothing happens that you see here happens locally. And the beauty of the, of the uh, software cloud approach is that um, if you need to migrate in the near future to newer codecs or newer formats, as an example, HEVC uh, codecs, a lot of the new devices like the smart TVs or, or um, new, new smartphones like the S4 are capable of decoding HEVC video encoded at much lower bit rates. So as an example here on the screen, we're showing our Cloud TV, or Muse Cloud TV software encoding 720p at 1.5 megabits um, and displayed on us on the smart TV. So you're able to um, migrate in software to newer codecs like this uh, with a simple software license and an upgrade um, and further reduce your, uh, your um, video delivery costs and your OPEX going forward. Um, the same way you can upgrade it to Ultra HD, 4K, it's completely seamless. Um, and even uh, use the, uh, the Cloud TV uh, solution to, to further enhance your legacy services like MPEG-2 um, and, and perform further bandwidth reclamation. So it's very simple, cost-effective, simple operation running in the cloud. You don't have to run silo operations and train your teams on different pieces of hardware. Um, and it's future-proof.